All right. Uh, hi, everybody. So, since my sleep schedule is all messed up, I figured well, let's just play some games because I am not tired. My brain's going like a million miles a minute. It's just been a really wonky week for me. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because I've been recording a lot or what's going on, but you know what? Let's just have fun with it. Alrighty, so <laughs> this is Sam and Max Save the World. Okay, so Sam and Max has been a thing, <laughs> like a creation. I, I don't know what the right word for it is. It's 1130 and I, 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 my brain is off. But uh, <laughs> since the early 90s, I want to say, it started as a comic book. And then it got turned into a game made by LucasArts, which made a bunch of point-and-click games in the 90s, too, I'm gonna say. I, my timeline's way off, I don't have my notes with me, but you know, we're just gonna roll with it. Uh, um, and then, uh, they only made one game, which was Sam Max Hit the Road, I believe. And then the Sam Max franchise ip whatever the name is got bought by telltale who you know made all these huge uh, adventure games now they kind of lost a lot of their point and clickiness over the years but early on like i i have mark of now but I have a playlist of my old, old videos. I have a little clip of me playing Telltale's uh, Wallace and Gromit, and that was more in the old style point and click that they used to do. The Sam Max is kind of in the same vein. Uh, but now, um, I don't know what happened exactly, but basically a bunch of old Telltale developers, if I'm remembering correctly, are now under the name uh, Skunk Ape, which is funny if you know anything about Sam and Max, but uh, they now have are remastering uh, the seasons one through three of the um, Sam and Max series. Uh, you can't get it through uh, Telltale anymore, except for season three of The Devil's Playhouse, because they have. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I'm getting my words all mixed up. So you can buy, uh... They have the original versions as free DLC for these games, but you cannot get it through Telltale anymore, I believe. Uh, except for Season 3, because that has yet to be remade, but on their website it says coming in 2023, and 2023 is almost over, and is still yet to be released, so, uh... Whenever that remaster gets some um, release, I will probably play that. But for now, we're just going to stick with seasons one and two. Uh, this kind of going to be a, uh, if I'm remembering my YouTuber terms correctly, I'm going to kind of do this like a hybrid let's play walkthrough and a long play version. Not like all um, all six episodes of season one, but I'll do episode one as a whole recording. Because if I did all uh, six episodes, it'd be eight hours long. Because each episode is about two hours, roughly. Hopefully a little bit shorter now that I know what I'm doing. Because i played this before. But yeah, I've noticed that there aren't a lot of walkthroughs with commentary for this game. But that uh, is a little tricky for me. Because I, I like listening and like understanding why people are doing what they're doing. Because if I don't know what you're doing, I'll just be like, oh, they're just walking over here for some reason talking to this person. Like, it did it doesn't click in my head like oh that's gonna unlock something so sometimes i'll just skip past it not know why I skip past and then just be stuck for an hour <laughs> so yeah uh so let's go ahead and jump right in to episode one which is culture shock uh uh yeah i'm not gonna restart it but i will click Yes. Oh, no. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, let's go ahead and... Because I want it to... Oh, nope, not, did not mean to do that. Yeah. 
Yes, uh, hopefully this starts everything over. Here we go. Alright. <laughs> and hey, if it start resets all my progress, that's fine, because it's like I said, I've played this game before, so hopefully I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let the intro play, and then I'm gonna say something. <laughs> Actually, I probably should talk over this because I don't want to accidentally get content ID. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, if any of you guys were kids, like, in the early 2000s or whatever, and you watched, like, PBS or something like that, did any of you guys watch Fetch with Rough Ruffman? Because that is what this theme song reminds me of. It could be just my brain conflating jazz music, like, just because I have... Oh my god. But yeah, every time I hear, uh... The intro, which is the Sam Max Save the World. Oh. Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah! I got it! I got it! Hello? <laughs> huh? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas even a padlock sweat box. Oh, Some Jesus. misguidedly ballsy <laughs> felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. All right, uh... All right, there's... Uh, typically, if you look at the uh, answering machine and if there's a blinking light on it, I know, old school, <laughs> there will be some funny messages, but there's no funny messages, so, uh... Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self help for the helplessly selfish. Oh my Perfect. god. I'll take two. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Oh, sorry, but uh, for anyone who knows where this game is going, you know why I'm finding that very funny. This but... might come in handy. Yes, yeah, so don't do that again. <laughs> pick up the boxing glove and you're gonna wanna Yeah, you can hit shift to run. Uh good old Lou. Yep. Who's and Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. Pick up the bowling ball. So then you're gonna wanna go in here. Open that. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. So we have cheese, but we don't have Swiss cheese. This is our inventory. Sam has a gun. <laughs> and so, you blow full of holes. <laughs> Take that, you law breaking dairy product. <laughs> Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. Yeah. Hold on, let me. I want to turn the music down just a little bit. Yeah, let me just. Yeah, sorry. Okay, yeah, that's a lot better. So then you're gonna voila. Swiss pick up cheese. cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer anyway. Don't say voila. Voila. <laughs> and then voila, you're gonna give cheese to the rat. <laughs> Tutorial song. <solved. Greetings. laughs> the members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, I... well, I ain't talking. So this leads into the uh, kind of interrogation scenes that happen every now and then in the game. Now, this doesn't always happen when you talk to somebody, but there are times where you can switch between Sam and Max. So this, I just kind of want to click through them because I don't remember exactly which ones, but... 
We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. We've met your demands, we got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? <laughs> Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Hey, Dogface, your partner's giving me a headache. All right, so then I think we can... You mentioned yep. a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, okay, so now that we got the headache... Okay, so I think you can talk to him as Max first, unlock that dialogue, and then you can... Don't there we like go. heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! <laughs> I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. <laughs> I give up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. Yeah. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Oh my goodness. Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance! Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Yeah, so... Uh... <laughs> you can turn the lights on and off in the game, but it really does nothing. Okay, so... <clears throat> before you do that... Uh, you're gonna wanna... Oh, nope, it's not over here, it's over here. <laughs> hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. Alright, and then here. Just so we can get this out of the way, uh, hopefully if they'll let me. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! Yep. You're only gonna have to do this once in this episode. By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already and that's your it, little buddy. clue of what you have to do. So, uh, let's just find a car. If it will be nice enough to spawn. Yep, here we go. Take the wheel, little oh, buddy. Oh, whoops. Ah, With what? pleasure. Not what I meant to do. Okay, so... I'm gonna try that again. Okay. Make sure you click, because clicking and uh, W S and D does Please the same thing. Please accept for your tail light. All right, so then we're gonna click onto the megaphone. This is your first and final warning. Pull over or die. Hello, we're freelance police. And you're not. Ergo, we call the shots around oh my here. Gosh. Oh, why did you stop me? Uh. Broken tail lights busted. But you're the ones who broke it. Your point being. Hmm. What's the fine for a broken tail light? Why isn't it ten thousand dollars? Oh my gosh. What? Are you crazy? Uh, oh, one moment. Allow me to confer with my legal counsel. Uh, my attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some accounting to do. Thanks, sucker.
Alright, and then you just want to click over here to go back to the office. Alright, now that we got that out of the way. I know this might suit, but we're going to want to go over... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get these little guys... T yeah, uh, here we go. Let's, let's first talk to you. Oh. Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh my god. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. It's called the Soda Poppers. And the 70s are not old. Uh. Stokes, it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! Alright, I'm just gonna tell you right now that yes, even though they're breaking the law, if you just say I'll I'll just show it to you once, but it happens to all three of them. By the way, we're freelance police, and you're under arrest. No, I've really gotta finish this. But thanks. Anyway. <laughs> it was like, ah, no thanks. Um... <laughs> so uh Yeah, you don't have to worry about that if you don't want to, but there's some funny dialogue if you want to check it out, but that's not what I'm here to do. Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky! I don't sign <laughs> butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up, or something like that. <sighs> you made me mess up, which you just did. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I want to show you, like, all the funny dialogue, but... So, Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Where can I find a copy of the video? They carry him over at Bosco's. You should get it. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's eyeball. Oh man, he's creepy. Well, that's nice. Excuse us, we've got important things to do. Don't we all? Now <laughs> you've got the TV schedule memorized, weren't the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on channel 173, the Child Star Exposé Network, which we only get when it's convenient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, if you run into Max or something, or if he gets in your way, you Sam will just toss Max. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist! A munchkin terrorist! He'll be the death of us all! <laughs> Bosco is probably my favorite character. <laughs> Besides maybe Max. <laughs> he is just... He is a character. I'll say that much. <laughs> Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are mm. you blind? He's right there! Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? <laughs> yeah, Wizard! He's a former child star? Oh, just lock him up and throw away the jail! Oh my gosh! Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order! Brady Culture's Ibo? What is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. <laughs> videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Uh, 
Um, meh. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. <laughs> it makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. Well, I mean, I guess he's no, not it's wrong. it's definitely a conspiracy. Like, typically if you're delivering videos, you're, like, hired by somebody. <laughs> I think we got it. Okay, anything else? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock <laughs> you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. <laughs> so, what do you want to buy? Uh... What have you got? Well, I I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese! I want that! Ooh, and cheese. I might have another item of interest behind the counter. Oh man, I'm probably gonna snack on some cheese after this. Cheese is good. T okay, speaking of Wal Telltale Wallace and Gromit, I was recently replaying that because I figured I might try re-recording that. <laughs> As a walkthrough or something, but uh... Meh. Wallace and Gromit has always made me want to try Wensleydale cheese, but uh... I, I can't find it anywhere, and the only times I can find it, it has, like, fruits and stuff, but I just want to try Wensleydale cheese. Ah, <laughs> uh, I... Oh, white, white cheddar's good, so it's pretty... I, man, sorry, I, I really like cheese. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's behind Except the counter? Accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh, yeah, I really want that! Well, it's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guarantee. I feel really close to you right now. <laughs> we got your tear gas money right here. Really? Well, all right. Here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Oh, by the way, did I mention my automated defense system? No. What's it do? <laughs> the 10,000 just cover the cost of materials, you know? <laughs> Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. All right. Well, Ten. it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. All right, so now that we have the cheese, uh, you know what, we're going to pick videos. one of these up. Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for Ocular Fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? Oop, there he goes See again. through walls and clothing. Roll your eyes at lightning speed. He certainly whizzes right past you, don't he? <laughs> oh, good. I can Ooh, never boy. seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel-coated sugar logs. Ooh. All right. Oh, up. Oh, okay. Just gotta wait. All right. Can can I? Can we? Hey there, there Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard, and so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. <laughs> Everyone calls me Wizard. He sounds like the, the 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 one like squeaky kid from the The Simpsons or whatever. I just remember. Ah, uh, gosh, I I mainly remember him from the Simpsons Riot Universal. But you know, he's the one with that voice. He's he's the teenager with the <laughs> who has not quite made it through puberty yet. <laughs> what exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady <laughs> Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did I you don't know, know what he that was the means. star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. I added the do. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. 
You can learn to move objects with your eyes. I'm sorry even about see your through ears, walls everybody. And clothing. Oh my, wear clothing? oh my gosh, his voice this is tape. like peeking it my mic. Hold my on. Life. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me give me a second during this. Oh my gosh, his voice was making the audio go into the red. Oh, uh, okay. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay, that's a lot better. <laughs> oh my god. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment. And ocular fitness. What hmm. is ocular fitness? That, that's like eyeballs, oh, right? that's nice. What is? My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. Oh, yeah. We've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey, kids, guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Uh, Max, Max is just speaking facts. Like oh, my goodness. Fresh air on a crowded subway. All right. And then you can ask for autographs. And Okay, there is a thing where if you ask him... and. Uh, Okay, it might have just been in the old version. I don't know if it's also in this newer version. But if you ask him enough, but you might want to Google this just to be safe. So you're not wasting time just constantly asking him this. But in the original version before the remake, if you asked him to sing the Soda Popper song enough times, uh, he would actually sing it. But there are many clips out there on YouTube and stuff, but... Yeah, it's it's fun, but it's not worth the amount of times you have to ask him and him saying no. <laughs> well, that's nice. What is? All right. If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping. So we're just gonna hop Take right in. Take a copy in. of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one. Thanks. Yep. So then uh, here, we're gonna. Public restrooms, unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. I'll do it. Uh oh. Time out for number one. Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. Yep, and then you're gonna wanna quickly take the cheese. Because our goal really is someone, to give them the gift of make cheese. all of the soda Ooh, poppers unconscious. The on his face when he gets it. Don't what worry, the... there's not like a time limit or you have time to wait. out for number one. We're saved! That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening. <laughs> it's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> Classic. Just classic. I mean, wait, my evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. Mwahahaha! <laughs> uh, no, it's still not quite right. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Oof, man, need some hey, work. You just gonna leave him there? Uh. <laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs> Alright, so now we can leave. Now we don't have to come back here until we find out how to wake him up. So then, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna. Wa yep. You wanna go throw Max in the air, but no. You're gonna wanna take your spray paint. This could use a little improvement. Hey, hey, hey! You messed it up! Oh, now I've gotta fix it, brain freeze! How rude. <laughs> Alright, so then you wanna go up to the office. Because we have to go up there anyway to get the. Um, whatever. I can't think of the word. But uh, yeah, so first we're gonna go out here. And then we're gonna wanna take the bowling ball. Can you believe we get paid for this? <laughs> I love this country. <laughs> You made me mess up. Okay. <laughs> now this is quality television. Except, 
Hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> better, better. <laughs> well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. <laughs> Maybe just one more second. Okay, let's go. All right, so now. Well, we're gonna go ahead and put in. Okay, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet, yeah. your dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes oh. in 1970. <clears throat> what you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines. You love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after me. <laughs> I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look! Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. <laughs> Alright. So I do want to play on these real quick, because this is oh, funny. Is he still alive? We look <laughs> at the stars of the 1970s television hit, The Soda Poppers. I love shows that destroy all our cherished delusions about the stars we once loved. <laughs> During the Soda Poppers' heyday, Young Spex was the role model for obsessive neat freaks all over the globe. Ticker tape free, ticker tape parades were thrown in honor of the Soda Popper, who never missed a spot. Backstage, though, things were quite a bit dirtier. Spex's obsession with perfection caused massive delays in shooting and infuriated co workers. He famously demanded over 11,000 retakes of the line, You oh made me gosh. mess up, made all the more annoying because of his tendency to repeat the line immediately after reading it. Following the show, Spex was rarely seen in public, although he did make one ill-fated venture into celebrity tag team mud wrestling, getting pinned in a record three seconds as he desperately tried to wipe down the ring with a dish rag. The meltdown utterly enraged his tag team partner and good friend, the dog from My Mother the Dog, who stormed out of the arena without a word. Oh my god. I haven't spoken since. Coming up next, the soda popper who couldn't always keep it in. So, Specs needs lots and lots of therapy. <laughs> just, just all the therapy, oh my goodness. <laughs> who could ever forget Wizard and his hilarious bathroom breaks? His timeout for number one adorned lunchboxes all over the nation for the better part of the 70s. Behind the scenes, though, Wizard's bladder problems were no laughing matter. The writers learned early on never to give Wizard the only existing copy of the script. Oh my god. On the set, they even had a term for a script that needed to be redone. It's been whizzed. Ew. Oh, that Wizard! He just charred my little pants off from day one. You don't even wear pants. Sure, not anymore. <laughs> exactly. Four years after the soda poppers went off the air, Wizard desperately fought his addiction to designer bottled water, a war he would ultimately lose. The problem came to a climax one evening during a formal dinner at a posh Manhattan restaurant. Visibly loaded with water, Wizard publicly was unable to hold it in. Unable to hold it in all oh over my the floor, God. most of the tablecloth, and even, ironically, the four-foot-tall ice sculpture of himself created specifically for the occasion. Coming up next, the soda popper known for a really big part of his anatomy. All right, so uh, that was a little bit of spoiler, so we're going to go down there and meet the uh, last one before we uh, deal with so we're gonna go into Sybils. And here we meet. Welcome! You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you- Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Me? Right, you're, uh... Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> My name is Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. 
All right. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure. So, let's just go ahead and. Thank God! I've been locked in that closet so long. I was starting to invent life stories for the Meets moth Meets the real civil, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my God! He's still here. Call a cop. You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately. Okay. Well... I thought psychotherapists didn't use words like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? The psychotherapist handbook or the lunatic handbook? <laughs> There's a difference? What's yeah. the charge? Assault! Kidnapping! I don't Alright, you do have to go through Those all these charges. dialogue charts. Some of my favorites! And what about mopery? Yeah, there are places where um, been pretending he's you're just gonna have to go through the dialogue. Yeah, Zooks, why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. Uh. Are there steps we can take? Soothing music or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? <laughs> Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock them unconscious! Now you're talking! I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! <laughs> so, uh, what we're gonna wanna do, because he has really good eyesight, so you'll see, he'll see you coming if you don't take care of his oh, eyes. Sybil. Yes? Uh, the other Sybil. What is that? Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. <laughs> but it will make you cry. Ooh. All right, so then we're gonna wanna use the boxing glove because Please, it's glove. Cause... <laughs> now, peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, peeps. I can see you. <laughs> oh my, that was great. That was great. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say. <laughs> nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind. I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil. It's Peepers. Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream. And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes, Brady Culture was there! He kept telling me to do stuff. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy. Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. <laughs> I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can fix. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, so, uh, here. We'll go and close the closet door, because it's polite. Okay, and then we're gonna go over here. We're gonna leave. And then, like I said, I do want to check out those uh, last uh, television clips before I do anything else. So, yes, I know this is a little unnecessary in a walkthrough, but you know what? It's also a Let's Play, so we're just gonna have fun with this. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you.
Audiences all over the world fell in love with Peepers and his cute big eyes. On the set, though, Peepers was not quite so beloved. While his high-pitched voice was a hit with audiences, it reportedly drove a number of his co-workers to alcoholism. Oh. Eventually, the show's director stopped bringing Peepers back in to loop missing dialogue, getting the needed lines simply by scraping his fingernails over a chalkboard. I never noticed the difference. Even after the show left the airwaves, Peepers' I Can See You warmed the hearts of all who heard it. All that is, except apparently the students of Our Lady of Butter Toast Girls School. Uh, Peepers' tenure as the gym teacher for the prestigious uh, Catholic school came to an abrupt end when his familiar catchphrase was taken the wrong way in the girls' locker room. Uh, and coming up next, the child star who never was. All right. Because we won't be able Few, to do that. remember the show that the soda poppers replaced. Culture's Clubhouse, hailed as television for the sophisticated six to eight year old, fell victim to the soda popper juggernaut. Sounds like something I would watch. <laughs> its young star, Brady Culture, struggled to find work and acceptance in the wake of the show's cancellation. Unable to find another role, Brady dabbled in every religion, creed, and belief system he could find. Buddhism, Judaism, Pointillism, Scientology, Horsematology, Nerfmatology, Prismatology, and even Stinkmatology. But what ultimately became of Brady Culture? No one knows. Brady Culture's being lifted from obscurity by his former rivals? I think this qualifies as a baffling mystery, Sam. You may be right. Coming up next, we'll repeat everything you've just heard. Yeah, so I guess if you wanted to uh, rewatch that. Okay, so now. Let's go ahead and pop them down. And now we're gonna wanna talk to Specs. <clears throat> uh take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy, Destroy the intruder, the intruder in your, your dreams. dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby! <laughs> What's going on? Why is my outfit all wrinkled? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227 something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the driving. Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. Well, that was helpful. <sighs> Yeah, yep, and then we're gonna go wa wake this guy up. Who's there? Yeah, it's just you. Yeah, uh, are you? Okay, that's weird. He's like. Take control of your mind. <laughs> Destroy the intruder in your dreams. <laughs> Nicely done, Sam. You're um, <laughs> Where am I? Who that was you? way too good timing. Worry, we're freelance police. police. Oh. oh no! Oh. He's getting away in that truck. Quick, yeah. Follow that soda popper. Yep. Okay. We're. Yep. And but sorry, another driving section, and this one's Hurry, slightly Sam. more. He's annoying. getting away. So, uh, if you're listening in the background, this is the soda popper's theme song that uh, Wizard was singing. If you got him to uh, talk in the Watch out. old version. Yeah, this one's a lot more annoying. Although this is a lot better than uh <laughs> Hey, go. Oh. Go. Oh. Yep. You you Got don't it. have to get right up on yes. them, but you do have to get close enough to shoot them. It's a little tricky, but hopefully you'll be able to figure out when that good distance is. Don't shoot! Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd <laughs> shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just, you always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? Because you right ran there, like a bad out of Across the street! Jumping elephant fleas! How devilishly convenient! <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Um, 
Does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? Dude, just go in the alleyway or something. Like, <laughs> you. Oh man, you. You should like get like adult diapers or something. You poor dude. All right. So this is. You're gonna wanna listen because it changes in every playthrough. And this is one time I do recommend looking up a written walkthrough. Because with uh, variations in gameplay, not every video is gonna have the same answers you're gonna get. So I do have, uh, I do have the notes with me right here. Uh, and I'm gonna play through it in my game and then I'll talk to you about, um, like when each option comes up, I will talk to you about what options you're supposed to choose for what. It's a little confusing because they did this in kind of a weird way, but go ahead and pick up an admission for me. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Forsooth. You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. All right, so the three other choices you could have is obsession with fame, violent reactions to hairstyling, or the unconscious desire to marry one's mother. And it's not in like that order. It could be, you know, money, the hairstyling, so on and so forth. So we're gonna Where are we go. Where going, Sam? Uh. Back to the office. We're gonna go head back to the office, and then we're gonna go to Sybil. Okay, so we had money, dentistry, and uh, peers getting older. So we're gonna pop into here. Yeah, in this part I do have a kind of notes written down of what we're supposed to do. So mine is money, so I, I have that. I think that's qualified to sign the form. Yeah, no, I was trying to talk to someone. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. <laughs> now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots. We could try some free association. I could interpret your dreams for you. All right, so first we're going to do the ink blots. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions or obsessions take a look at this and tell me what you see okay so because ours was money we would uh penny on the eyes of a dead mime but if you had fame you would say susan lucci holding an emmy okay so once again if you had money it was pennies on the eyes of a dead mime and if it was fame, it was Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Interesting. Now, how about this one? Okay, so this one, because ours is money, it would be an SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. But if yours was fame, it would be pigeons on the key at the man's Chinese theater. Okay. Once again, if it, yours was money, it was an SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. But if yours was fame, it was pigeons on the marquee at the man's Chinese theater. An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? Uh, okay, so this next one. Uh, for money, it was my Uncle Louis' moth-eaten wallet. But if yours was fame, it was an autograph written in bail. Money. 
Uncle Louis' Bothian wallet, fame, and autograph written in Braille. <laughs> My Uncle Louis' moth-eaten wallet. Okay, Not we, this one. we have two more to go. Uh, so, ours was money, so the elephants at the New York Stock Exchange would be ours, and if yours was fame, it would be a cheering crowd of lanky albinos. Okay. Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. Last one. And this one? Uh. Okay, so this one, ours was money. So a debit card, of course, fed through a document shredder. And then if yours was fame, this one would actually be a that blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. Okay. A debit card fed through a document shredder. Hmm. Well, judging by your responses, you seem to be fairly obsessed with money. That's a symptom of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark it on your chart. All right. This one's a little Very bit more complicated. Hopefully, you'll get lucky you and... for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever okay, you say, so... Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Okay. Tomato, uh... tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. Okay, so, uh... Free association. This one's a little bit trickier because you might not always get the thing you need the first time around. What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Okay, tumbleweed, uh, you're just gonna talk to her. Just say whatever. Come on. Interesting. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Crown. Sample size. I see. Comb. Okay, so if you had comb, you would go into your inventory and you would pull out your gun and aim it at her and try to fire it at her. So just... Calorie consciousness. What an unusual response. Yes, it did. Well, this has been illuminating. What's the verdict? I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. Okay, so we're gonna try, uh... We can always sell organs on the black market to raise the cash. Just so they're not ours, little buddy. Okay, you so... I might have artificial personality oh, disorder? Come on. Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to dentistry. Okay, so we're Let's gonna do this one more time. Association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Sure, go ahead. Cow. Okay. Eucalyptus. Mm-hmm. How about this word? Drill. Okay, drill is our word for dentistry, so we're just gonna take this out. Whoa, don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! Yep. You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Dryer. Okay, and then just talk. Frozen concentrated orange juice. Really? Interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually Bingo. violent reaction to dentistry. You should see him at the podiatrists. It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark this on your chart. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. <laughs> All right, so again, just to, in case any of you are playing along and you don't remember what what it's lives for. Uh, if yours was hairstyling, you would listen for the word comb and then you would pull the gun out. And then if yours is dentistry, you're probably gonna have to do it like mine because this, Every time I play this, it's always been in the second round of questioning. But, uh... 
when she says drill, that is when you pull out. I don't know if it's random because it sounds pretty familiar to the order I went through last time I played it, but I don't know. Just keep an ear out for those two words. Hairstyling, comb, dentistry, drill. All right, let's go to dream analysis. Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Youch! Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. My dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mmm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. All right, so uh, you're gonna go over to the donut box. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, is there gonna be a celebration? What did you get? Okay, so if yours is the symptom to marry one's mother, it would be a wedding cake. But since ours is Piers getting older, it would be a birthday cake. It was cake. an overly frosted birthday cake. Hmm, someone's another year closer to the grave, eh? That's one way to look at it. <laughs> and then if you go over to the silhouette over here. Oh, click I on. realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? Okay, so if yours was Mary's one mother, Mary one's mother, bleh, I can't talk, you would say you, and that would make Sybil appear. But since ours is Piers getting older, uh, you would say Max. It was Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. What? Wait a second. The birthday cake, your friend... You subconsciously want to see your peers get older. There we go. I could have told you that. This is a definite symptom of artificial <laughs> personality disorder. Yes. I mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. <laughs> wow! It must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet. Oh, I that's cute. You can actually see this. your name on there. That I never noticed that. Some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that we have the form, I'm gonna wanna exit the door and then go back to the home. Go, 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 go. Where Thankfully, going, uh, you can click where you want Sam to go, and then just hold down the shift button and he'll run there automatically. Because sometimes the WSD keys is a little weird with walking with some of the angles it will have you in. Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, we're close to... All right, let's see. Yep, here we go. So then we're gonna wanna take the emissions form and then put it into the form reader. And then nightmare sequence. Beware of heavily medicated husbands. <laughs> That's so wrong. <laughs> Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. Vehicles will be stolen. Uh, th this game just has a lot of good writing. I. Oh man, maybe next episode I'll go through more of the dialogue, but I don't know. I don't want to like take up too much of your guys' time either. The medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds what? like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? What are you talking about, Max? Pulchritude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Lawn Cheney in a boffo fright wig. <laughs> Brady culture, I presume. You know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The freelance police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? 
Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. All right. Allow me to explain. <coughs> Uh-oh. I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Oh, dear God. I had the attention span of a pint of yak butter. Uh. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no. Those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles. They came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever. How cruel. Is it over? I think so. Oh, uh, no, so, it's still going. Whoops. Since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become Video Delivery Man. Alright, hopefully I can do this quick enough, but this is slightly annoying if I don't get it on the first try. Oh no, Bosco, I'm so what? sorry. What's happening? Oh no. Oh no! What are you doing? Bosco, I'm I so sorry. Know. I... You were in on it all along. No, I, I swear. I I'm hypnotized. I told you, but then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. No. Call the CIA. Call Interpol. Call Mickey Rooney. <laughs> must deliver Mickey Rooney videos. Hey, if, out of all of them, Mickey Rooney might be the most helpful. All right, I have my mouse where the cheese should be. Oh, don't even try. Yep. There we go. I love that part. All right. It's not over yet. We still got a little, some stuff to do. Here we go. What? Uh oh Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become... Video delivery man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told ah, me to your do. Your evil laugh makes me sad. the intruder in your dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam. I'm up here. Oh, oh hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me oh, down from the here. worst, isn't okay, it? Okay, little guy. I'll save you. All right, so first, easy one out of the way, but a lot of people seem to miss this because people don't know the light switch is there. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? No! Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. All right, next one. We're going to want to take this and then shoot the sign. And then... Whee! Whoa, gotcha. Yay! We should all have to have a friendship like Sam and Max. <laughs> Just the friendship. Oh, Mr. Quote. Culture! Wink, wink. I have a nudge, surprise nudge. for you. Really? For me? No! <laughs> oh my! Ew! Hairball. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. Oh, no, Max. All right, so then we're just gonna... Wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity. No! Oh, yes. That's much better reception. All right, so then we're gonna wanna quickly... What is this thing? Sweet rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. Oh, okay. Never mind. So we gotta open that up. Oh. Okay. I will be number one in the ra- Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. 
Okay, that was weird. No, the cheese must stand alone. <laughs> and another one bites the cheese. <laughs> Such a dumb joke. Oh, uh. oh no, he's awake. We're done for. Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter. That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. Yeah, uh, we're, we're gonna come back here real quick. Just don't, don't you worry. All right. Yeah, see, this it's, it's a little weird. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna want to quickly run up to the office. Max isn't gonna like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've got to tell him as soon as possible. Ah. <sighs> Okay, yep, and then we're gonna run back downstairs, and then we're gonna run over to Sybil's. Sybil, Sybil, Sybil. Go, oh, cool. go. Doc! Max is gone! Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. No, that megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him. I see. Of course. Hang on. Were you implying that Max is imaginary? I wasn't implying anything, though he does seem a little improbable. You see him too, though, right? True, but then I'm a psychotherapist. Well, if everybody's interacting with this individual, there's a pretty good chance that they're I've real, got right? I've to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, it's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. <laughs> it's a huge violation of every reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course. But you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Ah! Uh... My lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense J of this. J you're just I gonna have to, to roll help, with all the unethical the things going I on in this game. Sorry. All right. So now that we have the diagram. We're gonna run outside. Slowly. All right, and then we're gonna run, 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 and then oops, run back over to Bosco's. Wow, I, I'm doing this like in half the time that most people say the game takes, which is like two hours. But that's probably because I'm skipping a lot of dialogue too, which is sad. But you know what? All right, here we're gonna. Give this to Bosco. Bosco, take a gander at this. What is it? A death threat? No. Even better, it's instructions for the latest in Bosco tech innovation. Hmm. Uh, let's see. A colander for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can build this. Just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna. Got it. Yep. And since we already got the coat hanger, we're just gonna... Will a make-do antenna do as a make-do antenna? Yeah, okay. Let me just add a little Bosco tech innovation. Here we go. And here it is. The most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. Happy days are here again. Uh-oh, it seems like the old moolah gauge is running on empty. Ah, take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're Aww. a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. Yeah, no worries. Ah. <sighs> All right, and then now we're gonna run over to the car. Doop -a -doop. 
I'm coming, Max. Yep. D d don't even need to ask. Just. Yep. And then just gonna hop right inside. Rule number three. Always wear protective headgear when confronting diabolical villains with hypnotic devices. That's good advice. Hand over the Lagomorph culture. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. Oh. What's this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again... What? Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is cooked. Time out for the cavalry! You've colored outside the lines of the law, Brady culture. We see you, and this time we're... Going to get hypnotized again. <laughs> I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, my foolish pawns, attack the dog! Yep. So then we're going to click on him, and then... Become Brady Culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding. Worship the videotapes. What nonsense. Attack the dog. All right. <laughs> All right. Now we're done having a little fun. We're going to say worship me. Worship me. No, me, me, worship me! You're my minions, mine! Oh my gosh, you're such a whiny little... <laughs> okay, so then you don't say attack Ray Culture. Did some of her psychology stuff. Attack me. No, me! Attack me! Me, me, me! Yes! Oops, no, wait! Ah, oh. ego. Oh. Oh. Smart hey, move, Sam. Hey. You played him like a two-dollar glockenspiel. <laughs> I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. I tried to send you semaphore signals with my ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up. You crack me up, little buddy. Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Looks Let like me. some Looney you know Tunes stuff. You know, wabbit season, duck season, wabbit season. <laughs> Although I'm glad it didn't go on for us. There we go. Well, that's that, Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. <laughs> Thank goodness this whole hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. Yeah. Uh -oh. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason. Okay, that's really funny that, uh, if you heard that, um, they had, like, I don't know how they did it, but it's, like, actual, like, kid versions of the soda poppers, which is cute. This is actually a really catchy song. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to keep on talking over this, so hopefully I can avoid content ID because sometimes YouTube is weird with that. All right, um, so yeah, this is because there's not really a good way to like skip it. That's one bonus I have to give season two over season one is that they uh, actually give um, a way to skip past the credits uh, after you're done. So you're not just sitting through this, but uh because there are uh it's like it's like a marvel movie there's end credit scenes <laughs> but uh yeah you know, they even have tales of that that's fun but uh yeah this has just been the that drunk guy <laughs> oh my what i want to know the story behind oh telltale pets it's cute oh my gosh oh i don't know if they have one for Oh. Okay, that's sweet. Okay, so... But, uh, yeah, so that was the end of episode one of... Ma uh, 
of Sam Max Save the World, episode 1, Culture Shock. So yeah, it's, it's going to be a mouthful when I um, title this, but you know what? This is going to be fun. Uh, hopefully, people will, will get used out of my walkthrough of commentary, and hopefully, because I say withheld some of the many funny lines, it will also encourage you guys to go out and buy and play the game so you can hear all of the amazing writing this game has because it's just incredible all right so i'm gonna wrap it up here because it is now over an hour which is like i said a lot better than how it normally is which is about two hours so i'm gonna wrap this up probably go sleep after this but uh yeah thank you guys uh if you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you all in the next one goodbye everybody